everyone. I am going to be answering a frequently asked question today. Frequently, people email me and they ask me something along the lines of, I'm new to Japanese pens, or I heard about Japanese pens, or someone told me about your store, and there are so many things, I don't know where to start. I answer this question so often that I've decided to not only make a video response so that I can easily send people this video, <laughs> But also, it made sense to create a product for our store that would help those people who are new to Japanese pens or are buying a gift for someone that's interested in Japanese pens and they just do not know what to start with. So this is going to be a set of products that are representative of what I think you should try. Now, that doesn't mean that every single item in here you're necessarily going to fall in love with. What it means is try these out and then you're gonna learn what you like. You may end up loving all of them. You know, I picked things that I love, so that very well may happen to you. But I also tried to pick, you know, a variety of pens and tip sizes so that you can kind of learn uh, just a little more about Japanese pens and what you like. Now, if you're already a Japanese pen fan with strong opinions on what you like, this is not really designed to help you. So just keep that in mind. All right, so let me start with something that <laughs> I bring up all the time here on this channel, and that is the Uniball Signote DX.38 in Bordeaux Black. I think this pen is really representative of Japanese pens in terms of the quality of the gel ink, but also the great Bordeaux Black gel ink color is not that easy to find in American pens. And this 0.38 tip size is, is not the most common tip size in the US. In fact, eight years ago when we started Tokyo Pen Shop, we almost never saw that tip size. I think that stores like mine popping up are kind of showing uh, people who merchandise for the American market that, hey, there is an interest in finer tip sizes. And I think that if you try this, you're gonna learn a lot about, you know, you're either gonna be like, whoa, why haven't I been using this tip size all along? Or you might learn that, oh, that tip size is a little too fine for me still. I still like my fatter American pens. But either way, I think that this, pen is super representative of Japanese pens and Japanese pen quality. And as I've mentioned before on this channel, I use this all the time. It is my favorite all time pen. Like if I could go down to only one Japanese pen, it would probably be this one. Sometimes it depends on uh, the day of the week you ask me, but <laughs> I often feel that way. All right. Another thing that I think is really representative of Japanese pens is the Sarasa clip. What I have done here is chosen a 0.4, that's my favorite Sarasa clip tip size. I've chosen the brown, the tea brown color, which I think is a really nice, unique color also. But what I've done is, for those people who wanna try a little bit larger tip size, I've included a 0.5 uh, refill for this pin, and I, include, and I chose a blue-black. That way, if you're not a super fan of the 0.4 or a super fan of the brown, then you have this 0.5 blue black refill. Moving along, I included a uni style fit in 0.38 violet. Now, one thing I'd like to say about this pen is, you know, not only is it refillable with all of the different sizes and colors of uni style fit ink, but it also has a very slim profile. So if you're someone who likes to throw a pen in your wallet or checkbook or planner, this is a great slim profile pen. And it's it's a very um, it's it's a very quality pen for being as inexpensive as it is. So I chose to do that and I chose the violet color because it gives you more variety of color. You know, Japanese pens come in so many different lovely colors, and so I wanted to include a lot of colors in, in this set so that you get to experience all of that. Now, the High Tech C is, a lot of you probably know, a real cult classic. I chose the 0.4 because that is the most popular tip size in High Tech C. And I chose a black because I want to make sure you got a good quality black gel ink pen in this set. It has a needle tip. 
and is just great quality ink. At the end of the video, I am gonna swatch these and I'll, I'll, I'll do it, uh, I'll maybe do like a fast forward through the swatching, that way that part doesn't take a really long time. I decided to include a Pilot Juice. Now the Pilot Juice is pretty much, I think a way you can think of the Pilot Juice is this is the Japanese version of the, the American market Pilot G2. It does come in more col colors than the G2. Like for example, it comes in two shades of brown, whereas the G2 only comes in one. Some people think that the blue black in the juice is a lot prettier than the navy in the G2. Now the Japanese market actually does also have the G2, but in Japan, it only comes in some standard colors like blue, black, green, red. And so they, their juice line is the colorful one there. But you can use these juice refills interchangeably with the G2 refills. Some people don't realize that. They're the exact same size. And I do think it's, you know, even though the pen is built differently, it is, I believe, the same quality of ink. So I decided to go with the 1.0. This is because some of you you know want to experience japanese pens and you really you really do like your fatter tip sizes and i think that's fine so why not you know include a japanese pen and a fatter tip size i do actually use a 1.0 gel pen like this when i'm doing something that requires larger letters like if i'm addressing an envelope and i want the letters to be a little bit more bold you know i don't want super skinny letters that you can barely see on <laughs> on on an envelope and so i i do still even though i love 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 fine pens and and will grab them you know 99 times out of 100 there are certain things that i like a bold fat tip for so i've included a pilot juice um blue back and 1.0 and let's see i could not not <laughs> include a friction. My favorite friction is the Friction Ball Slim. I love how sort of convenient it is. Um, it fits really nicely inside my Midori zip pocket without adding bold, so I think it's great for planners. It is not great for if you're having documents that need, you need them to last a really long time and you would be crushed if if they got faded in the sun or something like that, you do not want to use this ink. The ink also, runs out a lot faster. It's just the nature of the ink. It's I talk about this all the time with the friction, but to like the friction, you have to accept the trade-offs of it being an erasable pen, essentially, or a disappearable ink. You're not gonna get you know, the ink of the high-tech C in a disappearable, erasable uh, pen. You're just not. The Friction Ball Slim comes in so many great colors, and one of my favorites is this wine red. I also highly recommend the violet, the brown. There are just so many good colors. But for this set, I chose the wine red. I wanted to make sure to include a jet stream. This is the jet stream 0.7. The barrel is pink, the ink is black. This is the great jet stream of fast drying ink. It's like a hybrid lubricated ink, so it write, you write very smoothly with this pen. Left-handed people can use it because it dries so quickly, there's no smearing, it's highly recommended for left-handed people. You can go anywhere from a 0.38 to a 1.0 in the Japanese jet streams. It is a refillable pen. What else do I wanna say about it? Those of you who know the jet stream well know that if you like the jet stream pen, you can get it anywhere from a fancy barrel single color pen to, you know, you can get the Jetstream in the Unistyle Fit custom multi-series. You can get Jetstream multi-pens in everywhere from the, the cheaper end to the higher end. I mean, this is a great pen. And of course, everyone knows that it's very smooth on paper, especially if you have like the Hobonichi. The Hobonichi pen that comes when you buy a Hobonichi is actually a, a, jet, a uni jet stream pen. It's just Hobonichi branded. They, they make them for Hobonichi. So I, that's another question I get a lot is what's the Hobonichi pen? So if you like the Hobonichi pen, you'd love any jet stream. All right, I wanted to include, I think one of the things that, you know, Japan does really well are the super fine point felt tip pens. This one is a one black. You know, I will I will find out and annotate what 
millimeter line that um, is equivalent to, but it's very fine point, as you can see. So I'll annotate this video so that you know kind of what the lines equivalent, and I will be swatching it, so you'll see it. But it's like, you know, it's like any of, if you like felt tip pens, this is like any of, any great felt tip pen, super fine, which I, I think is very cool. I wanted to include a highlighter because one thing Japan does so well are their innovation in highlighters. This highlighter is really representative of Japanese highlighters to me because first of all, you've got the dual ends. It is a pastel highlighter, meaning it's not super bright. It's intentionally trying to be a little more subdued and gentle of a color. And also it's Yamabuki. And I find Yamabuki kind of a unique highlighter color in Japan. It's somewhere in between yellow and orange, and I think it's gorgeous. And don't worry, I will be swatching it. This is the Zebra Name Marker. And you might think it's a funny thing to include, but oh man, I love this pen. I use it so much. I use it to sign things like my credit cards, my library cards. You can use it to label things. And just the other day, um, my husband used it to label keys. A lot of people use it to like label their children's clothes. Like if you drop them off at school with their gym clothes or something and you need to have that labeled. It's uh, one thing that's really cool about it is you can use it, you know, kind of the same way you'd use an American Sharpie, only it's unique. Like everyone has a Sharpie. They're so ubiquitous and this is, you know, it's like if someone steals your pen, you know, because who who but you is, is going to have this pen. So I, I think it's really cool. I have two left. This one is the Ruchon Petite. This is very similar to the Marvi Le Pen, which is also a Japanese pen, but it's been available in the United States for a really long time. But the Ruchon Petite comes in so many colors. In this case, uh, I've chosen peppermint to show you because I think it's a nice, unique color. For the set, because it comes in so many awesome colors and I, I have a very hard time picking just one, the Ruchon Petite would come to you in an assorted color, uh, but don't worry, it will be you know one of my top five favorites. If you have a strong opinion about you know what Ruchon Petite color you want and you buy the sets, please do let me know. As far as substitutions, there are only two items that I'm gonna allow you to attempt substitutions on. The whole point of this is that you're kind of asking my opinion and and you're having me prescribe to you, you know, what to try starting out with. And so you're going to need to go with it if you choose the set. Now, what you can also do is just based on this video, you and based on what you think you like because I don't know what you like, you can order a la carte. You can always order a la carte. That's the point of our site. So if you want to pick and choose, at, you know, then just put items in your cart. The advantage to buying the set is that you save a little bit of money. The set is $35. It includes the pin case. And I think you end up saving something like 10%. I don't have the exact numbers, but or maybe close to 10% uh, with the set. But you know, if you if you feel if you if you're asking me for help and you still feel really picky, just go ahead and like listen to what I'm saying here and order all a cart. Just customize your cart to suit your needs. That way, you get whatever price point you want, etc. This is just for people who really just want me to make the decision for them. Okay, and then the last pen that I also will allow you to pick from a different tip size or color if you want is the Sarasa 4 plus 1. So that means it has four different ink colors and pencil, pencil unit. Uh, this is 0.5 pencil lead. So all of the Sarasa 4 plus 1 multis come with 0.5 pencil lead. So, and you can't change that. But what you can do is the Sarasa 4 plus 1s also come with uh, a 0.5 ink. So the default for, for this set is going to be the black 4 plus 1 in 0.4. And so you're gonna get 4.4 ink colors here. This is Sarasa Prefill Ink, so it's the same ink that you get in here, just a different refill type. If you go on our site, the Sarasa 4 Plus One comes in three different colors 
and two different tip sizes. So that is something I will let you modify because this is a little bit more expensive pen than the rest in the set. Uh, you know, I, I want you to be able to get the exact one you want. Now, what I want to not forget to mention is that the any of the any of the prefill ink will fit in here. So the, the Sarasa prefill ink comes in so many colors. It comes in three different tip sizes. You can put that in here. You can also put in the prefill Sudati ink. You can put in the prefill Gymnock ink. If, if it's a prefill ink, you can put it in here. So you can really use this like a custom multi. So that's also what makes it really cool. You know, a lot of people remember the multi pens from when we were growing up, which really kind of um, sucked, excuse my language, but the Japanese multis are so awesome. And so I had to include a Japanese multi and I wanted to include one that you could sort of customize if you end up really liking it. And you, so you can basically use this just like you would a pre-fill custom multi barrel. So once again, the whole set is $35, which saves you a little money, but feel free to go a la carte and, you know, not, wor not worry about, like if you start feeling really like picky about each individual item and wanting to customize it, just feel free to build your own cart. We do sell the pen cases individually, so essentially you can make your own set. And again, the two that I will let you request a change on are the Ruchon Petite and the Sarasa 4 Plus 1 Multi. If you, if you do not tell me which Ruchon Petite you want in the comments of your order, I'm gonna just pick like one of my top five favorite ones. Like you might get this peppermint one, which I like so much. And then the default for the Sarasa Plus 4 plus 1 multi, again, is going to be the black 0.4, but feel free to change that. So now I'm going to swatch these for you. I will put links in the description box in case you want to choose any of these a la cartes like normal or you know if you want to get the whole set for you or a friend the link to that will also be below let me know if you have any questions i almost forgot to tell you that anybody who purchases the japanese starter kit is going to receive a 10 percent discount on your next order in other words a one-time coupon code is going to come with this that will get you 10% off an order. That way you figure out what you like and you come back and get more of exactly what you like because by then you'll figure out the type of pen you like, the type of ink, the tip size, color, stuff like that, and you'll know what to stock up on and you'll be able to save 10%.